Welcome to the 2020 Senior Video Awards Assembly. I'd like to congratulate all of the seniors for doing an outstanding job this year. I do know the COVID-19 situation has put everyone kind of a, in a challenging situation. The so-called new normal is the continuous learning, online learning, and we were not able to, to finish the second semester of our senior year. But with that said, I'm really proud of you guys. You've done a great job. You were involved. You were great leaders for the underclassmen. And I wish all of you the best, and you guys are awesome and so deserving of these awards. The first award to give out is actually to a staff member. We have several staff members that have decided to retire this year, and they are Cheryl Holmes, Julie Smith, and Laura Watson. All of these individuals have dedicated so much of their time and effort and energy to helping not only Concordia Junior Senior High School, but they have been just a tremendous impact in, in our community of Concordia. They have gone the extra mile. Great people have done so much for our students and staff, and they will be truly missed. So again, Laura Watson, Cheryl, Cheryl Holmes, and Julie Smith, thank you for your dedication to Concordia Junior Senior High School. You will be missed, but never forgotten. My name is Cindy Atwell, and I have the great pleasure of announcing the local scholarships for the class of 2020. First, I'd like to say congratulations to you seniors, you're ones that won't be soon forgotten. And also, we miss our family and community members that usually come to our assembly, but we hope that you enjoy this, and congratulations to those that are going to be the winners. Today, we have the local scholarship awards of 2020. Our first scholarship is going to be the Voice of Panther Scholarship for $300. This award is given to an athlete that's shown commitment to the Panther. Not necessarily the best athlete, but someone that has been a good team and dedicated and giving lots of inspiration. Toby Nosker and Lauren Swinson sponsor this scholarship. And this year, the winners of the Voice of Panther Scholarship will be Caitlin Trecek and Jenna Strait. Congratulations. Next, we have the Cheryl Laws Memorial Scholarship for $500. Cheryl Laws was a teacher of English and family living at Concordia High School. She lost her battle with cancer in 1999. She had a passion for learning and loved being a CHS teacher. Mr. Laws, the former school counselor here at CHS, established, established this with his family, and they are so happy to give this scholarship for $500 to Sierra Kern. The next one is Nicole Barleen Memorial Scholarship for $1,000. Nicole was a member of the 2001 graduating class of Concordia High School. She was an avid student with high academics and, and worked 30 plus hours during the school week. Her memorial is honoring a student who is responsible, hardworking, and has a love for children. Nicole's parents, Dave and Glenda Clemens, have set up this scholarship, and this year they are more than happy to give it to the recipient, Nicole Turner. The next scholarship is the Orville Henderson Memorial Scholarship for $1,000. Orville Henderson was a lifelong farmer in, Cl in Cloud County. His grandparents homesteaded there shortly after the Civil War. His, grew, his roots grew deep in Cloud County. As a farmer, Orville understood that the future human occupation of our planet depends on well-educated, industrious people participating in agriculture. His son, Robert Henderson, established this scholarship in his, in his father's honor. This $1,000 scholarship this year is awarded to Rochelle Anderson. The next scholarship is the Steve Turkey Williams Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was established by Connie Williams and her family. This is a $1,000 scholarship offered annually, annually to a graduating senior pursuing higher education. Turkey was a 1972 graduate of Beloit High School and active in cross-country basketball track throughout his high school years. He had a passion especially for basketball. This scholarship has a minimum academic requirement. However, much of his content ranking is based on the applicant's dedication and core values that Tur Turk carried through life. Commitment to these simple value breeds academic and athletic success. The 2020 Turkey Williams Memorial Scholarship is being awarded to Ivan Owen. The Jack and Jean Metzeller Memorial Scholarship is given in honor of Jack and Jean, who graduated from Concordia High School respectively in 1939 and 1938. Jean received, this, received a scholarship to Mills College in California. She loved music and spent some time at the Juilliard School of Music. Jack enlisted in the Army Corps during World War II. 
He earned his pilot's license and later owned several planes. During World War II, Jean worked as a prisoner of war camp just north of Concordia. Their life led them in many directions, but Kansas has always been where their roots have been. Both Jack and Jean loved CHS, and the family continues to honor them with the Jack and Jean Memorial Scholarship. Normally, I have Gertrude Bro helping me today, and I'd like to say happy birthday to a childhood friend of Jean who turned 100. She'd be happy to announce that, and this year, this recipients of the 2000 check each goes to Haley Budke and Liz Duvall. Ron Costle Memorial Scholarship. Ron Costle loved music, and he was an amazing mechanic. His sister, Kathy Ashland, sponsors a scholarship, and this scholarship this year goes to Liz Duvall. This year, I'm more than honored to share the Dana Nelson Memorial Scholarship. Steve, her husband, wrote these words. Mrs. Nelson, as she was affectionately called by her former students and co-workers, arrived in Concordia in 1978 when she was hired as a second grade teacher at Lincoln Elementary. Though Dana began her teaching career in second grade as Mrs. McGuire, she will be most remembered as a fourth grade teacher at Lincoln Elementary and later at Concordia Elementary Schools, where Mrs. Nelson served tirelessly for more than 30 years. Outside of parents, no one has the possibility to affect the life more than an elementary school teacher. Not having children of her own, Dana dedicated her life and career over 40 years to serving the children, families, and community of Concordia as an elementary school teacher. This marks the first presentation of the Dana J. Nelson Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship will be given annually to a Concordia High School graduate pursuing a degree in education with a preference in elementary education. Given in the same spirit of service and dedication, this year's recipient of the J Dana J. Nelson Memorial Scholarship is two recipients, Jacob Rosenbaum and Jenna Strait. Congratulations. That concludes our local scholarship for the graduation class of 2020. Congrats again to all the seniors, and I want to especially thank the families that sponsor these scholarships. On behalf of the North Central Education Association, I would like to award the NCEA scholarship to Nicole Turner. Nicole plans to attend Cloud County Community College and major in education. Congratulations, Nicole. Hello, my name is Bailey Burgess, and I am one of the counselors here at Concordia Junior Senior High School. I have the pleasure of announcing the class of 2020's general scholarships. We are so proud of this class and all their accomplishments in and outside of the school. We'll miss you immensely, but are so excited to watch what you accomplish. This year's record knees, Michelle Anderson, K-State Limestone Award, Central Valley Ag Scholarship, Kansas Junior Livestock Show Scholarship, AGJA Breeders' Choice Bull Futurity Scholarship, August Stellar Memorial Scholarship, Academic Excellence Scholarship, and the Bearcat Advantage Scholarship. Madeline Blocklinger has received the Presidential Scholarship through Cloud County Community College. Elizabeth Duvall has received the AJM Scholarship Foundation, Belleville Telescope, DYW Scholarship, Fine Arts Development Scholarship, and the CF Sunshine Scholarship. Maddie Johnson has received the Dane G. Hansen Scholarship. Austin Kaufman has received the K-State 1863 Landmark Award, as well as the C. Carl Cunningham Rotary Scholarship. Sierra Kern has received the Black and Gold Scholarship from Fort Hayes, the C. Carl Cunningham Rotary Scholarship, and the Randy Banks Memorial Scholarship. Kiara Killian has received the K-State 1863 Landmark Award. Tegan Larson has received a Dane G. Hansen Scholarship, C. Carl Cunningham Rotary Scholarship, Hutchison Community College Dragon Scholarship, Hutchison Community College Presidential Scholarship, and a Volleyball Athletic Scholarship. Cassidy Leisler has received a Dane G. Hansen Scholarship. Bethany McColl has received a Dane G. Hansen Scholarship, and Ruth N. and R. Wilson Carlgren Memorial Scholarship. Macy McMillan has received a K-State Royal Purple Scholarship, C. Carl Cunningham Rotary Scholarship, Gertrude Whitebread Scholarship, and Veneer Family Leadership Scholarship. 
Ashlyn Norris has received a John Whitney Scholarship as well as a Leva and Frank Duclos Foundation Endowed Scholarship. Ivan Owen has received a K-State Limestone Award and a Gertrude Whitebread Scholarship. Jacob Rosenbaum has received a K-State 1863 Landmark Award. Caitlin Trecek has received a Black and Gold Scholarship from Fort Hayes. Jacob Williams has received a K-State University Scholar Award, as well as a Dane G. Hansen Scholarship. Congratulations to these students and their recognition and awards for the 2019-2020 school year, as well as their careers as Concordia Junior Senior High School students. We are so proud. I'm honored to announce this year's seniors who are recognized as Kansas State Scholars and Kansas ACT Scholars. As a 2020 Kansas State Scholar, you have demonstrated exceptional academic potential for a successful collegiate academic experience. You are among the 2,123 Kansas school students selected from 6,386 Kansas high school seniors who have completed the Kansas Scholars curriculum. Concordia High School extends our congratulations to this group for completing the Kansas Board of Regents curriculum for the 2019-2020 school year. This year's award winners are Austin Kaufman, Sierra Kern, Ivan Owen, Macy McMillan, and Jacob Williams. Congratulations. Our next group is the Kansas ACT Scholars. The Kansas State Department of Education recognizes these students that have achieved a benchmark score determined by the state on the ACT assessment with a certificate for exceptional academic performance. They offer their sincere congratulations to the students, the administration, the faculty, and their families. Concordia High School extends our congratulations to this year's Kansas ACT Scholars for the 2019-2020 school year. This year's award winners are Macy McMillan and Jacob Williams. Congratulations. The Industry Recognition Certificates. It is our honor to recognize these seniors that have completed an Industry Recognition Credential Assessment while attending CHS with a blue honor cord to wear at graduation. The following students are Raven Allen, Madeline Blocklinger, Sierra Kern, Victoria Chagru, Caitlin Trecek, and Jaden Wilson. Our military enlistee is Christian Hansen. Selection for the Panther Honor Award is based on an individual's attitude towards staff and fellow students, positivity, engagement in classes, and participation in activities. This year, I am pleased to recognize Miss Madeline Blocklinger. Maddie, thank you for representing what is best in our school and community, and rest assured, You'll always be my fave. Hello, I am Landon Slipke. I am the junior high and senior high school vocal teacher. Um, and I am today, today introducing the National School Choral Award um, to a student. This award is picked by uh, the students. Um, it's pick, picked from a list of seniors, uh, voted on by the students. And the award description is, the National School Choral Award is the highest honor for high school choral performers. It recognizes the dedication and musical achievement of the top choral students. The students selected for this award are the epitome of what a choir singer should be. Dedicated, hardworking, passionate, a positive leader, supportive, musically talented, and go above and beyond what is asked of them. And I'm happy to present this award to Maddie Johnson. My name is Stuart Reggie, and I'm the director of bands here at Concordia High School and I have the distinct pleasure and distinct honor to present the John Philip Sousa Award to the outstanding senior here at the high school band. The John Philip Sousa Award is voted on by the membership of the high school band and it's supposed to represent that person which represents the characteristics, uh, uh, everything in leadership and musicianship of everything that we do in the high school band. And so I have the distinct honor to give this award to Elizabeth Duval. This is Dustin Bender, Student Council Advisor, and I'd like to recognize the nine Student of the Month recipients. These students were voted on by their peers, faculty, and staff. They exhibit the leadership skills and character qualities that we wish for all students at Concordia High School to strive for. 
September, Jacob Williams. October, Tegan Larson. November, Arista Bombardier. December, Ivan Owen. January, Jacob Rosenbaum. February, Haley Budke. March, Madeline Blocklinger. April, Macy McMillan. And May, Rochelle Anderson. I would like to thank Central National Bank for sponsoring our Students of the Month, and I'd also like to thank our local media for recognizing them. Thank you. For our next Panther Honor Award, I would like to honor someone who pushes herself to do her absolute best and does not settle for mediocrity. I have been honored to be her tennis coach for the past four years and enjoyed watching as her and her doubles partner returned Concordia to the state tournament. What made me want to give her this award was how she responded to a challenge from beyond anyone's control. She was diagnosed with mono early in our season, and it tore me up to think of her losing a chance to achieve the goals she most desperately wanted to achieve. We made her stay home to rest, and she begrudgingly complied. It was at this time that I learned my most val valuable lesson I've learned in coaching. As coaches, we like control, but at this time, I had to let go of that. This was beyond our control, and I put all of my efforts into the faith that Macy McMillan would finish the season. She was able to return by our home tournament and finish the season at the state tournament. Macy, I love you. I've loved coaching you. I love your teammates. Thank you for a wonderful experience, and may God bless you. I'm Chris Stiles, Director of Theater. The Golden Mask Award is given to the senior who has given their talent to the program and demonstrated loyalty and dedication. This year's senior has done that and also demonstrated perseverance. She has had significant roles in eight productions, rarely missing a rehearsal, while also dedicating herself to choir, cheer, and academic achievement. I am proud of what she has done for drama and for the school. The Golden Mask Award winner for 2020 goes to Maddie Johnson. The Gwen Fletcher Scholarship is given in honor of a former CHS English teacher. This scholarship rewards and encourages excellence in writing, and in order to qualify, a senior must have a 3.75 grade point in English their freshman, sophomore, and junior years. The students who qualify are given one hour to write an essay on a prompt that they have never seen before. The essays are then ranked by the CHS language arts teacher and the top rank essay wins the scholarship. I am honored to give this scholarship to Chloe Bynes. She is an excellent writer and what's more is she's constantly striving to become a better writer. Congratulations, Chloe. Some students are questioners but there's a difference between respectful curiosity and rebellious defiance. Jordan Anguish has demonstrated the difference and grown because of it. When you stop asking questions, you often stop learning. I don't have to worry about that with Jordan. He is respectful, curious, open-minded, and charming. Keep asking questions and go change the world, Jordan. Congratulations. The NCKL Academic Athletic Award is reserved for student athletes who have lettered in a sport and hold a GPA of 3.5 or better. The following is a list of students who have qualified to become 2020 North Central Kansas League Academic Athletic Award recipients. Rochelle Anderson, Maddie Blocklinger, Arista Bombardier, Haley Butkey, Bradley Cleveland, Liz Duval. Sierra Kern, Tegan Larson, Macy McMillan, Ashlyn Norris, Ivan Owen, Caitlin Riley, Caitlin Trecek, Nicole Turner, Jacob Williams, Shana Wright. The Outstanding Female Senior Athlete Award recognizes a senior female athlete of Concordia High School who has been a dual sport athlete for four years while attending here. This year's recipient has excelled in the classroom as well as the court in the field. Congratulations to Tegan Larson.
for being na- named the 2020 Outstanding Female Athlete for Concordia High School. The Ray Coley Memorial Award recognizes a Concordia High School student, male athlete, who has been heavily involved in athletics and demonstrated outstanding leadership, citizenship, and scholarship. This year's award recipient goes to Ivan Owen. Congratulations, Ivan. I'm Chris Stiles. Our final Panther Honor Award goes to an outstanding young woman who has represented Concordia High School in athletics, the arts, and most important to me, video production. The work ethic and loyalty she has given to all of these programs is commendable, but what really sets this young woman apart is her qualities as a human being. She's one of the most kind, non-judgmental humans you will ever come across. Her strength and faith and dedication to helping others is greater than I will ever achieve. She desires to go into education, and the world will be a greater place if she does. I am proud to give our final Panther Honor Award to Nicole Turner. Honor Student Recognition. To be considered for the honor of valedictorian, salutatorian, and CHS Honor Scholars, a student must meet a core curriculum in line with the Regents Qualified Admissions requirements and be a student in good standings. Following these guidelines, Concordia High School would like to recognize the following 12 seniors as a CHS Honor Scholar. Maddie Johnson, Tegan Larson, Macy McMillan, Ivan Owen, Caitlin Trechek, Jacob Williams, Rochelle Anderson, Arista Bombardier, Haley Budke, Austin Kaufman, Sierra Kern, and Ashlyn Norris. Great job, students. Salutatorian. To be recognized as salutatorian of the class, a student must meet all honor student requirements and have the second highest numeric grade point average among the 4.0 students. The salutatorian for the class of 2020 is Jacob Williams. Congratulations, Jacob. Valedictorian. The student with the highest numeric grade point average among the 4.0 honor students is named valedictorian. The valedictorian for the class of 2020 is Macy McMillan. Congratulations, Macy. Dale M. Dennis, Excellent in Education Award. The Dale M. Dennis Excellent in Education Award was established in 1996 by Kansas School Administrators to honor the long and valuable service that Mr. Dennis has provided to Kansas education. Mr. Dennis, Deputy Commissioner of the Kansas State Department of Education, has dedicated his career to serving and helping others in education. This award is given to a student who displays the qualities that Dale Dennis embodies, integrity, honesty, a commitment to serving others, and good common sense. Kansas administrators are proud to give this award in honor of Dale M. Dennis to Jacob Williams. Our CHS Male Citizenship Award recipient is a jack of all trades. Yes, he shows respect, responsibility, and reverence, but he also has a zany sense of humor, mad yo-yo skills. He can solve a Rubik's Cube like a whiz, and he learns new languages just for the fun of it. This young man has been a leader in academics, athletics, and student council. He is loved by his peers and his teachers alike. Jacob Williams is a delightful blend of humor, creativity, intelligence, curiosity, leadership, and goal ability. What a joy it is to present this year's Male Citizenship Award to such a world changer. To a young man who can go on to be anything. Thanks for being a Panther first. We're proud of you. Congratulations, Jacob. The winner of the Citizenship Award is a young woman driven by passion. When she sets a goal, you know she will achieve it. The bar is never set too high for her. I have known this young woman for more than 10 years and have witnessed the passion and work ethic she has repeatedly. For the last five years, I have been honored to be her FFA advisor. I have watched her collaborate with, push, and challenge her teammates, and she receives nothing but respect in return. She has been a leader, a role model, and a friend to so many at Concordia Junior Senior High School. It is with great honor that I award the Keisha Citizenship Award to Rochelle Anderson. In conclusion, I'd like to thank everyone for participating in this video ceremony. I want to wish our retirees 
of Mrs. Holmes, Mrs. Watson, and Mrs. Smith. Again, thank you for an outstanding career here at Concordia Junior Senior High School. And thank you to all of the seniors, the, 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 all of the students, the parents, the staff, Mr. Stiles and the Cat Scratch crew for putting this video together. I really appreciate everyone working together, and go Panthers!